Imagine a car that could run on whatever fuel was cheapest or most available at any given time. The exhaust was cleaner too. Turbines burn fuel more completely than piston engines. No unburned hydrocarbons, lower emissions. In an era before anyone cared about emissions, Chrysler was accidentally building an environmentally friendly engine. By 1960, Chrysler's president, Lynn Townsend, made a bold decision. They were going to build a fleet of turbine cars and put them in the hands of real consumers. Not engineers, not test drivers, regular families. This had never been done before. Car companies didn't just hand experimental technology to the public. It was too risky, too expensive. What if the cars broke down? What if someone got hurt? What if the technology wasn't ready? But Townsend believed in the project. And more importantly, he believed in the publicity value. Chrysler was fighting Ford and GM for market share, 